All right, I'm going to show you the easiest way to warranty your Milwaukee tools using the online e-service. You can also use this method to check out used tools that you're buying to see how much of a warranty they have left. Um, on your tools here, you're going to have a serial number, which is right here, and then your model number of the tool, which is right here. When you're buying this tool from an authorized retailer like Home Depot, for example, if you do not keep the receipt, the warranty is going to be based off of when the tool was actually manufactured. So if this tool, say, it, just for example, it was sitting around on the shelf for a whole year before it was purchased, you lost a whole year of your warranty unless you keep that receipt. If you keep the receipt, the five years is going to start as soon as you buy it. If you're solely relying on that serial number, the warranty of this tool is going to be when the date it was manufactured. So if you are buying from an authorized retailer, keep your receipt and you'll have um, the full five-year warranty from when you purchased it. So you can also use this, like I said, if you're shopping online um, from Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, something like that. You can get the serial number from the seller, punch this into the e-service, and check out the date of the warranty, what you have left on it. Um, you can also do this with the batteries as well. And going through the e-service site, you don't have to speak to anybody. What you're going to do is basically just search the tool that you want to warranty. You're going to punch in the serial number. It's going to tell you the date of manufacture. After that, if you're within the warranty period, you basically tell it what's wrong with the tool. And you're able to send the tool in for repair. Milwaukee pays for the label to be sent. All you need to do is box it up and send it in. So I'll go through the steps online uh, and show you how that is. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go on to Google and type in Milwaukee e-service. Uh, go ahead and click on that. It's going to bring you to this page here. Now, if you don't have an account or if you want to log in, you're going to click this red button here. To sign up, just click over here. Punch in your email, a password, then select whether or not you want to receive junk mail about Milwaukee. So once you have an account and you log in, it's going to pop up with this dashboard here. And the tool that you want to warranty, you click on this Add Tool button on the top right over here. Now you can search for your tool. So I'm going to search for this die grinder that I have here. I'll punch that in there and basically just look for the picture that matches the tool that you have so this is the model number that I want to check the warranty on or if I want to warranty it um, now you're just going to enter in your serial number so let me do that okay so now once you look the tool up here you got your serial number in here it's going to show you the serial number on the left side here. It's going to show you when it was manufactured, and then it's going to show you your warranty date there, or your warranty period. Um, like I said about the manufacture date, if you have the receipt for this, and you purchased it, uh, let's say, October 15th of 2020, your five years is going to start from when you purchased it, as long as you maintain that receipt. If you did not maintain that receipt, you don't have the receipt no more, this is when your warranty is going to start. Um, once you have your tool in there, you hit continue. Uh, this is where it's going to ask you to upload proof of purchase. If you don't have it, like it says right here, if you don't have it, it's going to be determined on the manufactured date of the tool. So if you don't have that, um, you can include it in the shipment or not. You can upload a digital copy of it. So I don't have that. If the tool is out of warranty, it's going to show you about the approximate cost to fix the tool, which most of the time it's not worth it to do that. But if it is within warranty, <clears throat> this page here, now you can enter in what the problem is, what you're going to be sending back with the tool. Um, you can tag it if you have a bunch of different tools. You could put a reference ID number on it just to keep track. 
once you do all that, so I'll just type in something random here. After that, we're going to continue to shipping. So on this column here, it's going to show your address, all of that. Um, once you hit continue after that, you're going to get a label that you can go right to. So they would actually email you a label. You can print it out um, from right here. It's going to show you how to find the drop-off location, all of that. You basically just box it up, send it in. Once they get the tool, they will send you updates on how long it's going to take to get back, what was wrong with it, what they found out, everything. It usually doesn't take more than a week to 10 days to get it back. So really great, easy warranty process. Um, so if you got any questions, just write it in the comments and I'll try to answer them. So thanks for watching.